Hello, Javier, how are you? Hello, teacher. How was your day? I'm good. And you, teacher? Pretty good. Where do you work, Javier? I work in the Mega, in Santa Ana City. What is the Mega? Yes. The Mega. Um, how do you say in English, venta de materiales para construcción? Ah, construction material. Oh, yes. Construction material. Okay, okay. Mega is like a, like a frown, like an epa, like, a, like this. Uh, like a galvaniza, yes. like a... Brazil, Brazil. Ah, it's Brazilian, the mega. Mm -hmm. Okay, but they, they sell construction material. Hello, Oi, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Uh, okay. Hay momentos que se va la... La señal. Ah, la, la señal. Mm -hmm. Ok. Well, can I speak Spanish? Yeah, go ahead, Javier, go ahead. Pues, gusto conocerlo porque es mi primera vez en este curso. Hice okay. el examen para tener acceso al, al, al módulo en el que estamos ahorita. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Se me dificulta un poquito porque ya tenía bastante tiempo de, de, de no practicarlo. Ya hace un par de años. Okay. Parece que hay momentos que se me queda un poco, que no identifico las palabras. No se preocupe que para eso estamos, para, para ir practicando y, y entre más practicamos y más estamos interactuando, es más fácil se nos hace. Sí, sí. Mm. Ahí estamos. Eh, eh, y estaba viendo de que el material está bien, bien bonito. Hay que está en la plataforma. ¿Cómo te va en la plataforma? ¿Ya vas avanzando? Eh, le mentiría, el día de hoy no, no he revisado. Okay. Eh, los, en las clases anteriores sí, sí estaba viendo antes de entrar a la clase. Ok. Pero sí me parece bastante interesante y... y práctica para, para el conocimiento de nosotros. Ok. Y la idea de, de, de la plataforma, el, o sea, aparte de hoy, ya vas al día, estás eh, haciendo las, los ejercicios en la unidad 1 y todo. Sí, de la lección 1 terminé todo lo que, lo que está. Hoy vamos a lección 2, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Ahí voy al día. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Perfecto, perfecto. Uh -huh. Muy bien, ok. Vaya, sí. me alegra, me alegra que esté con nosotros y ahí poco a poco ya vas a ir viendo que como tenías tiempo de no estar interactuando, sí. ya se te va a ir quedando más y más. Sí, porque incluso escucho a algunos compañeros y se me vienen las palabras, pero a veces lo que no capto todavía es relacionarlas el significado en español. Todavía me cuesta un poco. Oh, ok. Pero la práctica va siendo el maestro. Ya, yeah, así es, así es. Ok. Hey, there we have. All right. Ana and Katia, how are you, Ana? Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine. Happy. Why are because you I, I finished I finished the payroll <laughs> <laughs> for your job. Uh huh. Okay, so tomorrow everybody received the payment. <laughs> yes, everybody. <laughs> excellent, excellent, good. I'm glad it's good. And you, Katya, how are you? Thank you. I am fine. Thank you. And what did you do today, Katya? I went to my work in the farm. I had to travel and I was some tired. You, you traveled to Metapan, right? 
Yes, every day. But every. in the afternoon, I, I want, I don't know how to say, I, you quería. I rest. want it. I wanted to rest uh, a little, but my sister asked me for uh, que la llevara a ser mandados. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. To take so her. I, I am tired. Okay. But, no problem. But happy to like Ana Vilma. <laughs> uh, guys, how do you say mandado in, in English? How do you say mandado in English? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Carrying. Gracias. No. How do you remember? No. Hello, everybody. Look at the chat. That's why we have the chats. That's why we have the chats. You run? That's right. You run? You run? Hello in English. You had an errand. My sister had an errand. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, thank you. Plural with S, errands. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, good. Okay. Now we know a little bit more for uh, some more vocabulary, the typical in the day. Okay. Let's see. Ever, how was your day? Hi, it was very good. I made some things here in my house, working in my house. And today I rest from, from my job uh, because it's a party day here, here in my town. And, and I rest and I rest and do some little things here in my house. Okay, a party day. Wow, why, why a party day? What's that? Uh, it's uh, the... The, the, the parties of the municipality. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, here in Guasapo, it's uh, 28 and 29th of September. Okay. So then today you didn't work. Today was a good day for you. Uh, yes, it was a good day for me. Uh, I rest a, a little time in the morning. But in the late, I, I do some work here, here in my house. I was, I was doing uh, uh, some things here. Okay, good. Well, guys, this is the idea for today's class. Today's class is this, discussing about our past, our day, today, last week, the different things. Today, we're going to begin looking at the past, the simple past and the past continuous. If you remember yesterday, we talked that today that was going to be the objective. So how are we going to begin? First, we're going to watch a video between the simple past and the past continuous. And then we're going to practice using them. This is going to be in our platform, beginning lesson two. So lesson two, today, the objective in 2.1 is past continuous versus the simple past. Hi everyone, are you ready? Let's go on now talking about past continuous versus simple past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time, but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, I was reading a book when you came. What you just listened to and saw was the intro to this new topic. Now we'll play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay during the explanation and take notes. Past continuous versus simple past. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. Okay, so first, if we can see, we use the two in one sentence. If we use two actions in one sentence, we can say the first action 
is with past continuous. This is the verb to be an ing. This is the I was watching, I was working, and I was shopping. The second action is in the simple past. The second action is that I fell, someone offered, and a celebrity walked in. This is the idea between the past continuous and simple past. The first action, ing. The second action, the simple past. Let's look at the video and see some more examples. I will begin talking about simple past because we have studied this before. So let's review. Simple past. When do we use it? We use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Read the following examples. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative, negative, and questions just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Now let's talk about past continuous. This tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when he had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. Take notes on the following. We have these two words, while and when. While, it is usually used with past continuous, and when, it is usually used with simple past. In other words, we use while plus long actions, past continuous, and when plus short actions, simple past. Finally, before we go on using both tenses in one sentence, I will show you the structure for past continuous. Listen and follow it. For affirmative, subject plus was, were, plus verb, ing. Negative, subject plus was, were, plus not, plus verb, and ing. Questions, was, were, plus subject, plus verb, ing, plus question mark. Past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. I want you to take a look at this diagram and try to make sense of it. Now work on the following statements. You may do it with your own information. For example, you may say, Last week, I was driving when I got a flat tire. Remember to use both tenses just like I did. Okay. So what is the most important part that was okay. is that we use it to describe an unfinished action. This means the action was not completed. Okay. So as an example, this morning, what did you do today? Ah, uh, in the morning, maybe you are taking a shower, right? And then the phone rings. This is the simple past. The action that interrupt taking a shower is the simple past. I was taking a shower when the phone rang. Let me put it into the chats. That way we can also see how we use it. Okay. That is the first action. And here is the second action. Oh, sorry. I when the phone, when the phone rang. Okay. That's how we use it. We use always, hey, how was your day? Great. I had a good time. I finished my report. I exercised. This is okay. But this is like a list. This is one, 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 one. But when you have many activities, ah, then it's different. So, for example, how was your day? Good. I was watching uh, the news and have and or I was reading the newspaper uh, when my boss asked me to finish the report or I called someone. Okay. 
Now, it's not necessary to use in all conversations, but it's important that you know how to use it. Okay. So don't worry if it's not normal for you to use both of them, but we're going to practice in this moment. So we're going to make partners, and with our partners, we want to ask about our day. We want to ask, hey, what did you do? Where did you go? What happened? And the important is to try to use the different grammar structures, okay? If you use the simple past, great. If you can use the past continuous, better. If you can use both, excellent. But the important is to speak using the grammar, the past or the past continuous. Okay, we're ready? Okay, teacher. Okay, any questions before we begin? No, okay. No question. Let's try it then, excellent. interrupted by another event or action. Hi everyone, are you ready? Ah, maybe it's a little late, but let's put you in. Let's go now talking about past continuous versus simple past. I want you to listen and take a look at this. This is a timeline. Notice both actions happened at the same time, but one action began earlier and was in progress when the other action happened. So we may say, I was reading a book when you came. What you just listened to and saw was the intro to this new topic. Now we'll play the audio program so you can follow and understand it better. Remember to stay during the explanation and take notes. Past continuous versus simple past. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I will begin talking about simple past because we have studied this before. So let's review. Simple past. When do we use it? We use simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Read the following examples. They went to the movies. He came home. She drove my car. I will leave you with the structure of affirmative, negative, and questions just for you to have it in mind and practice it. Now let's talk about past continuous. This tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. Take a look at the following examples. I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when he had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of paint. Take notes on the following. We have these two words, while and when. While it is usually used with past continuous and when it is usually used with simple past. In other words, we use while plus long actions, past continuous and when plus short actions, simple past. Finally, before we go on using both tenses in one sentence, I will show you the structure for past continuous. Listen and follow it. For affirmative, subject plus was, were, plus verb, ing. Negative, subject plus was, were, plus not, plus verb, and ing. Questions, was, were, plus subject, plus verb, ing, plus question mark. 
past continuous versus simple past. We often use the past continuous and the past simple tense together. The past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when the other action occurred. I want you to take a look at this diagram and try to make sense of it. Now work on the following statements. You may do it with your own information. For example, you may say, last week I was driving when I got a flat tire. Remember to use both tenses just like I did. Okay, how do you guys feel? It's okay, the past continuous, simple past. I feel good. My case, my name is Alexander Munoz. It's my yeah. first time in class because, yes. You didn't connect Monday, Tuesday, right, Alexander? Yes. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. No problem, Alexander, only- uh, Okay, thank you. Only remember that you need to complete the platform and we are already in unit two. So yeah, you yes. need to do the other ones, no problem. Yes, yes, okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, good. So yeah. what are you going to do? Now that we are clear, were there any vocabulary or words that you wanted to use and you didn't know what to say? Hey, about, the, uh, about the ING or, or the- uh, Any vocabulary, or... uh -huh. for example, I say, hey, what did you do today? And you don't uh -huh. is there any words that you didn't know okay no no okay uh for example is um um in the morning um i was driving uh from i was i was driving uh to the job when i watch no when i look at some friends mm, so so no idea is okay. correct i was driving to my job when i saw when I saw. Ah, yes, yes, when I saw. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. That is but the correct way. Okay, but it's, I, I was driving. It's correct. correct. I was driving when I saw some friends. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's okay. good. Okay. Good, Alex. Anybody else? Anybody else have any other questions? Uh, yes, Katya? Uh, Mirna, do you have a question? No, teacher. Okay, good. So uh, let me ask you a question uh, for those that came in. Marce, how do you say mandados? Duris. No. <laughs> Mirna, how do you say mandados? I no have idea. <laughs> mm. Mm. Deuce. It's Deuce. in the chat. It's in the, it was Look in the, the chat. chat. Very good, Javier. What was that word? Errands. 
errands. Very good, Katya. Very Re good. Re please repeat again. So, mandados, how do you say? Mandados? Errands. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Errands. What is it? Errands. Can you write Errands. in the chat? It is uh -huh. in the chat. It, it is in the chat. Ah, in the chat. Ah. Yes. Errands. Mm -hmm. Please, have you spell to me, please? It's in the chat. Ah, oh, I, let me see. Let me see. What is the chat? I let me see. It. It's the first chat. I see the chat. It's the first word in the chat, but I put again. No. I, 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 will, I will write it again. Please. Ah, okay. Okay, it runs. Uh, okay. It runs. Excellent. I have yes. some mm -hmm. question because I tried to use the, <laughs> the simple pass to say the light turned down. Mm -hmm. I was... The light? Turned mm -hmm. down. I, I say I was reading when the light turned down. Oh, when the light turned off. When the light turned off, Henry. Turn up, yeah. Turn up. Yes, that's it. That's correct. That's right. I was reading when the light turned off. Turned off. Okay. Now, this is different, Henry, than se fue la luz. Do you want to say mm -hmm. fue la luz, Henry? Yeah, se fue la luz. Okay. Okay. I want to say different. Okay. This is, I was reading when the light went out. Okay, uh, went out. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for the like, information. Mm, went, like, went out. Went out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But but I have a question, teacher. That uh, really is is the is the best way when the people use the went out because I don't know maybe sometimes we try to translate exactly the Spanish to English, but there are the other way to say the 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 the, the idea, for example. I, I don't know. I, I understand. I, I try to explain. I, I'm, uh, what is the question, Alex? Well, for example, uh, sometimes or many times we try to translate the Spanish to English. For example, it's se fue la luz, but in English really exists that translation. Or for example, when uh, is when the light out, or I don't remember. Went but, out. Went out. But but the question is, really exists the translate exactly because uh, some sometimes we we try translate, but it's not correct. Uh, when we again when we try translate, it's I I feel it's not correct. For example, uh, when I, I I want to say hey me quiero ir. For example. We try to use exactly the translate Spanish to English, but sometimes it's a different. It's not exactly me quiero ir, but there are the other way to say in, in English. I don't know. Yes, uh, it's, it's, mm -hmm. you are, yes, Alex. Uh, always there are different ways to say because the language is different and the culture mm -hmm. is different. So the, because the culture is different, this means that you use different words to express the things. And mm -hmm. things have different meanings. It's not the same. For example, in Spanish, eh, I look at ever, eh, or no, let me see. Uh, eh, I look at Ana and I say, ah, Ana is negra. But it's not offensive. Mm -hmm. But in English, I cannot, mm -hmm. Ana is black because it's offensive. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you cannot translate the words one, because the words have different meaning because sometimes they are offensive and not offensive. And two, because they use different structures. So sometimes the words use phrasal verbs, use mm. use others. Like in the case that Henry asked, eh, se fue la luz. This is mm -hmm. Spanish, but this is not correct. Se fue, yes. Eh, no se va, no tiene piernas, no se puede ir. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. But this is, this is the way that this is the way that we speak in Spanish. Well, this mm -hmm. is Spanish. This is the way we speak in El Salvador. Because mm -hmm. un apagón de luz is the way it's, we're supposed to speak. It's like a typical typical sentences. Exactly. These are the typical sentences. But if I go to school and I learn Spanish, I'm not going to learn se fue la luz. I'm going to learn hubo un apagón de luz. The same thing. Mm -hmm. If you go to school, you're going to learn the correct ways to say it. But I teach you also the common ways. The common ways mm -hmm. are 
the, uh, the light went out. The correct way is a blackout, but it's not so ah. common to use it in this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a question. Okay. okay. Um, blackout you. is you said to say también desmayado. Yes, that is also blackout. Henry. That's why he's black. Like he's mm -hmm. black, like black or so. I don't know. Oh, for example, it's correct. It's correct when um, uh, I was I was reading when blackout. When there was a blackout, correct. I was reading when there was a blackout. Yes, excellent, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Now that we have an idea, uh, or first, were there any other questions? I just want to just to be sure when. Off, so there's no like um, the better way to say the idea. It's better to say when we're a blackout. It's more natural. So a blackout is, for example, no electricity. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. So in the house, there was a blackout. That means there's no electricity. Normally in El Salvador, when it rains, we have blackouts. That's when you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, what I want to know is that if it's more natural to say it, when the light went off or to say that there were a, a blackout, what is more natural or what would be the correct, the better way to say the idea? The best way? Both of them are natural, Gabby. The difference is one is the action and the other is the thing. So the light it is, a, is an action. The light went out. There was a blackout. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you. one is for describing the action mm -hmm. went out and the other is for uh, mentioning the thing. There was a blackout in my house yesterday and I couldn't connect. Or light went out in my neighborhood and I couldn't connect. Okay. Okay. But the two forms are very common. Only it's a, it's only a matter of the usage. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you ever watch the news reports, if you ever watch CNN or uh, the news in English, when they have a hurricane, a tornado or something, they're going to say there was a blackout. That's the word that to use. And okay. uh, yeah, another question. Um, how we can say estado de cuenta, but um, like a uh, report when you could see all, all the bills that you have uh, paid or or not paid for a year, for example. Okay, excellent. How can you guys say statement? Estado de cuenta? Uh, it's in sorry? the chat, guys. It's in the chat. Pay attention to the chat. Do two mm -hmm. things at the same time, two things. How do you say estado de cuenta? A statement? Statement. Statement. That's right. Statement is and only you change the type of statement. You can have financial statement, a bank statement, a monthly statement, a yearly statement. This is only the difference. But always estado de cuenta. Ah, estado de cuenta AFP. Ah, social security statement. Estado de cuenta de banco. Ah, a bank I'm statement. Say, mm -hmm. like a statement. An AFP statement. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's the okay. idea. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are all of them. Only state. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, what are we going to do? Now we're going to go ahead with our partners and we're going to practice using the past continuous and the simple past. In this exercise, 2.2, 2.2 in the platform, you have to choose what is the correct words to complete it. You need to choose two words the word that is correct for the first space and the word that is correct for the second space. There are seven statements. So with your partners, you are going to read and select two words for each one and choose which one is the correct one. Okay. It's okay? Yes. Okay. 
Okay. Hi, this time we'll talk about some adverbs, which are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately now that you have listened and decided which ones were positive negative and neutral we want you to complete the following statements with those adverbs so you can come up with creative sentences Hello, this time we want you to listen to the following conversation. The idea is for you to understand what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation and get ready to answer the question I have for you. What have you been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Please write your answer on our discussion box. Part B. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. Okay, so let's take a look and make sure that we have the correct answers in case there were any mistakes. Number one, my brother was snowboarding. Was was snowboarding. snowboarding. Good. When he, when he broke, he broke his leg. Good. Two, several years ago, I. I was having. I was having. 
Problems, problems with math? So with I? Math. So I, I found. found. I found. I found. I found. Good. Okay. Number three. Who would like to do number three? The couple had their first child when, when they were living. Your official way. We're living, we're living in a in tiny apartment. 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 Okay. Good. What about four? While I, I was driving. driving. Was driving. A few years ago. I realized. I realized. I realized. I was on the wrong side. Okay. okay. Good. What about number five? All right. All right. All right. We was reading, reading a good book in a good book. Someone told her. Yeah, the people with the spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> What's number six? While my mother was speaking in her last night, the phone rang. The phone rang. Okay. And the last one, Tracy and Eric. Tracy and Eric met. met. Yeah. They were, 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 were working. Oh. Very good. You can see yeah. that. You can see that always we can have the, the always it has to begin with ing. It mm -hmm. has to be the first action has to be ing. Not the first action in the sentence, but the first mm -hmm. action they do. So first they were working and then they met. That's why is the reverse. Okay. Any questions? No. Not yet. Yes. Yes. A comment. Yes. In the in the number three and the number seven, the the order the of the tense is changed uh, respect to a, a, another. Uh, examples, mm -hmm. but I I mistakes in the order. I I, I think the uh, first the con, the past continuous plus the simple past, but in this case is change the order. Ah, okay. So the the first one the first one is simple past, and the second one is uh, past continuous. Uh huh. In Correct. this case. I I think that to the first one be a be a past continuous we need we're having but we don't have we're having in in a in an option. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, the the reason is is because it's not the order of the words. The activity the grammar. <laughs> yes, the activity. The past continuous is the first action. Not the first set, the first word in the sentence is the first action that they do, and first they are living together, and then they had the children. First they were working, and then they met. Okay, mm -hmm. why the okay. second we can change? For example, Francisco's question is also correct, Francisco, to say they were living in an tiny apartment when the couple had their first child is also correct here, okay? Um, I found a tutor to help me when I was having problems with math. The order of the words is not the difference. The grammar indicates the order. Grammar is ing first and past tense second. Yes, I said. Okay, good. You. You're welcome, you're welcome. But good question, Francisco, because sometimes we think it's for the sentence, but no, it's the grammar is the order, not the mm -hmm. All right, now we're gonna continue. And today we're gonna be looking at telling stories and being able to tell a small story. Here, we're going to look at some adverbs that we can use. What are the adverbs? The adverbs are normally <laughs> words that finish with L-Y and normally, well, not normally, uh, they tell us how something is done. Let's watch this short learn some adverbs. Sadly, strangely, suddenly. 
Hi, this time we'll talk about some adverbs, which are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. Okay, first, do you know what all of those words mean? What mean suddenly or suddenly? suddenly. Suddenly, I don't know the, the meaning. Suddenly is quickly, without planning. It's suddenly, like an earthquake. An earthquake happens suddenly. You don't know. It's in the moment. Okay. Any other words? Sadly. Sadly. Sad is the opposite of happy. Opposite mm -hmm. of happy is sad. How they do the action is sadly. Uh, okay, okay. It's strongly. Uh, strangely. Strangely. Uh -huh. Strange. Strange. Mm -hmm. E, no, don't pronounce the E. Only strangely. Strangely. Uh -huh. And this means something that is not normal something that is unusual this is strange mm -hmm. like in netflix strange Suddenly. stranger things mm -hmm. yeah. any other words miraculous miraculously miraculously yeah. Miraculously, miraculously is like a surprise, like like God, like I, I don't know how. For example, mm -hmm. what happened? Accident, an accident, the two car crash, and miraculously, nobody died. Nobody had an injury. This is miraculously. Teacher, yes. What is the correct pronoun? Um, for Natalie, <laughs> I don't know. Good. No problem. The correct pronunciation is unfortunately. 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 Unexpectedly. Unfortunately. Correct. Sadly. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Sadly. Miraculously. Okay. Unfortunately. It's, it's okay, those adverbs? Yeah. yeah. Maybe if we can repeat every yes. adverb for, for the pronunciation. Oh. Here. Coin. Listen one more time. Mm hmm Now that you have listened and decided, fortunately, verbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral. Coincidentally, fortunately, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly. Unfortunately. 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 Okay. We're going to listen one more time, but I'm going to put everybody in mute because when you are speaking and listening to the audio, it's difficult for the other people to hear, and then nobody hears. Okay. So you can repeat, but repeat in your house. And now on, listen. are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral. Coincidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately.
Okay. It's okay now? All right, good. So now what we're going to use, we're going to use those adverbs to help us tell a story. But first, we're going to watch a little bit more about the news so that we can tell a good story, okay? So here we're going to catch up on the news and we're going to learn a little bit about the present perfect continuous. Then we're going to be having it. Hello, this time we want you to listen to the following conversation. The idea is for you to understand what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation and get ready to answer the question I have for you. What have you been doing? Part A, listen and practice. Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Please write your answer on our discussion box. Part B. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well... That must have been some vacation. Okay, so that helps us a little bit to understand what we're going to do. What has happened to Pete and Gina since recently? Okay. First, here we had a small conversation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to practice it with our partners. I'm going to put it into the chat in case you cannot see or you don't have access, I'll put it into the WhatsApp in this moment so that you can read it. Okay. And then the second part is we are going to tell our partners what have you been doing. So one, we're going to practice the conversation. One time I am Gina and one time I am the man, Peter. Then I change. Then I am Peter and my partner is Gina, right? And the second part is, then I ask and answer my partner, what have they been doing? Okay, and we try to answer. I have been, I did, this is, I have been doing this. The activities for January to now, in the last year, what have you been doing? This is the idea. It's okay? Okay, teacher. Yes, any questions? No. No? Okay. No, not yet. Not yet, okay. The important is that you know for your actions, right? Because you explain what you did this year. I have been, and then the different activities. Try, there we go. Hey, 
Hello, this time we want you to listen to the following conversation. The idea is for you to understand what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation and get ready to answer the question I have for you. What have you been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Please write your answer on our discussion box. Part B. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. Hi, we want you to go back to the previous conversation. Can you find examples of the statements with have and haven't been? Now, we want you to stay for the explanation of the structure and use of the present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. Moving on. Present perfect continuous is a tense used for. A continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Let's look at these examples. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. I've been studying since three o'clock. How long have you been studying French? And last but not least, we'll go over the structure of these tense. For affirmative, this is what we use. I, we, you, they, plus have been, plus verb, plus ing. He, she, it, plus has been, plus verb, plus ing. When in negative, we need to add the word not between have or has and been. And as always, in questions, the helping verb or the auxiliary goes at the beginning, followed by the subject, like this. Have, plus subject, plus been, plus verb, plus ing, plus complement. Have you been saving money? Can you now work on the following exercises? How long have you been learning English? Why are you tired? What have you been doing? What have you been eating? Six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. 
Moving on. Present perfect continuous is a tense used for. A continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Let's look at these examples. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. I've been studying since three o'clock. How long have you been studying French? And last but not least, we'll go over the structure of these tense. For affirmative, this is what we use. I, we, you, they, plus have been, plus verb, plus ing. He, she, it, plus has been, plus verb, plus ing. When in negative, we need to add the word not between have or has and been. And as always, in questions, the helping verb or the auxiliary goes at the beginning, followed by the subject, like this. Have plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus complement. Have you been saving money? Can you now work on the following exercises? How long have you been learning English? Why are you tired? What have you been doing? What have you been eating? Okay, good. So we had an opportunity to practice our speaking, have an idea about what our partner has been doing and the conversation. We are going to pause right there and tomorrow we're going to continue learning and practicing more about this type of tense. We're going to learn tomorrow about the present perfect continuous. Remember, this means that today you should be complete unit 2.6 in the platform. You should be complete to 2.6. If you are a little bit behind or you started today like Henry or like uh, Alex, I think it's okay. But the idea is to work and work, but we should be up to 2.6, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you so much for Thank coming. You. Thank you. Okay. Thank and you. I see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. And see, see you, you soon tomorrow. tomorrow. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Have a nice bye. night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.